The United Kingdom is gripped by a fierce debate over whether President Trump deserves a recognition of a formal state visit. Thousands of people took to London Street last night to protest the invitation. Many argue having Mr. Trump officially welcomed by the Queen would be an embarrassment to the Crown. Petition opposing the visit has nearly two million signatures. Charlie Daga is outside the Houses of Parliament in London, where that petition prompted some heated words. Charlie, good morning. Good morning. Heated words over whether President Trump has the right to an official state visit. Meet with the Queen, maybe stay at the palace, the whole shebang. Mostly, this is a chance to vent, both inside that building and out. In my view, Mr. Trump is a disgusting, immoral man. If we were to, as a result of this debate, rescind this uh, invitation, it would be catastrophic. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, a fierce debate over whether President Trump should be stripped of a state visit. We cannot accept uh, the denigration of a free press, the denigration of a judiciary, the denigration of women, the denigration of religious minorities. It wouldn't be acceptable from any country, but it certainly should not be acceptable from our greatest ally. This UK government... MP Kirsten Oswald accused the government of cosying up to the president. This Islamophobic, misogynistic leader of the free world. Instead, as one of my constituents said to me, of having the to stand up and show some kind of moral backbone. But those in defense of President Trump, like conservative MP Nigel Someone Evans, said critics should like get over it. He's going to go down in history as being roundly condemned for being the only politician to deliver on his promises. We're actually attacking the American people, the 61 million people who voted for Donald Trump. The last state visit by an American president was by President Obama in 2011. Unlike a regular visit, a state visit means rolling out the royal red carpet, including an official state banquet. It's ostensibly an invitation by the queen. Traditionally, U.S. presidents have had to wait years for a state visit, if they get one at all. President Trump only had to wait seven days. That triggered the petition and protest last night, arguing a state visit would be an embarrassment to Her Majesty the Queen. There is no way, no way Donald Trump deserves this honor. Well, in the end, the protest, the petition, the debate in Parliament, none of it really matters in the big picture. No vote was taken, and that state visit will go ahead as planned. Nora? There you go, Charlie. Thank you so much.